welcome back to my channel sandy's cup of tea today is wednesday it's going to be a long day um for me i work late on wednesdays so i'm going to make myself some breakfast this morning okay so i have bread you can use any type of bread you want this is a pepperatron bread but again i'm not being sponsored by pepperatron pepperatron if you if you anyone can hear if you want me to sponsor you you have if you want me to um promote you you have to sponsor me so i'm not being sponsored by them but this is what i like and then i'm going to put some tomato in it and cheese you use any cheese that you like i like the mozzarella cheese um and i'm gonna put very little butter toast it on the tower um this is like a hot plate type of thing um like a you know a lot of people in trinidad and the islands use this everywhere um this is what i cherish the most i love toast bread on my tower okay you can get it from amazon i have it in many different styles um i have it in this as well it comes like this as well with a handle but i don't know i use it but i love my tower okay my original tower so i'm gonna put a couple pieces of bread on to toast and um i'm gonna make treating myself today as i said some milo you guys know how i like my milo it's very rainy outside and then some clim all right this is like a powdered milk i love this every now and then you treat yourself to something okay you can eat and drink everything that you want in moderation i we don't starve ourselves we eat and drink anything we want but in moderation okay so i don't do this every morning and even if i did how much do i eat you know so do it in moderation okay so i'm gonna get started i am gonna make my milo while the towel is heating up and i will come back and show you where i am okay my bread is toasting up i have my hot water in this cup uh, i'm going to put let me put it here i'm gonna put um not a lot okay just two teaspoons that's it that's all you need and as you guys know we don't use sugar i mean not in my tea and stuff we really don't use sugar and then put two teaspoons of the clim the powdered milk and that's it so we don't use sugar if i some days if i'm drinking like especially moringa tea i put honey in it because you know you need something with that um but we don't use sugar all right so let me mix this up so my bread i love my bread toasted nicely so you see how i have one side toasted but the other side not i'll show you why see one side is toasted the other side is not so on the toasted side i'm gonna put some little bit of butter not a lot okay just very little butter and on one side not both then i'm going to put my cheese let me just get this out of the way and get this out of the way then i'm going to put my cheese as i said use any type of cheese that you want we really don't eat a lot of cheese as you can see this is still sealed but every now and then as I said, you want some sort of, and I don't use a lot of cheese, but every now and then you want a lot of, like some sort of comfort food. So one slice, that's all I need. One slice of cheese, okay? Not a lot of anything. I don't like my sandwich loaded. Then I'm going to put my tomatoes. I have two slices here. Then I'm going to put a little bit of, um, Salt. I'm actually going to use pink salt. Just very little, okay? Then some black pepper. If you want, you can put an egg on this. You can put, but I don't need all that. I just, this is perfect for me. Some black pepper. Then you take it, you put the toasted side this way and then you take this now with both sides on the white side and put it back on the tower 
so the cheese will melt while that side is toasting okay so I had kind of lowered my stove a little bit because it was getting too hot so I'm gonna turn it back on a little bit higher and I'll show you what that looks like when it's all done in the meantime I'm gonna go clean up. Sorry about that everyone Mike calls me when he reaches to work so he um he just got to work he leaves so early in the morning and literally just got into work because he works far he works far from home like an hour out and a half ish so he drives Mike drives basically three hours a day to get to work back and forth all right so I'm going to let me get the knife I'm going to flip this over it's toasting on the tower you don't want to burn it okay but I like my bread nice and crusty okay so mine is going to be a little browner than normal because I like it nice and crusty put everything away clean up let me grab a yogurt for work today put this butter back in clean up as you go and straighten up as you go so at the end you don't have any of that to do okay I'm gonna take this off now so this is what see it's toasted nicely it's toasted on the inside and the outside okay so let me cut it you could cut it any how you want and this is what it looks like so you see it's like a tomato and cheese sandwich okay so this way i'm gonna go eat this get myself together and head out to work but i just wanted to do a short video this morning let me taste that Mm. amazing let me go to the table all right i'm gonna go eat and i just wanted to do this short video this morning because something's been bothering me and i want to um address it so i guess when you turn 60 a lot of people think but i guess i don't know if that's the way the world works but we, I'm not like that. So as soon as I turn 60, I have a lot of, including patients, that um, ask me, Sandy, when are you going to retire? Sandy, when are you going to retire? And I look at them and I'm like, wait, when I was 59, I was okay. But all of a sudden I turned 60 and everybody wants to know when I'm going to retire. Guys, let me put it out there so you all will stop asking. I am never thinking about retirement right now okay i love my job i love my patients i love waking up in the morning going out um, to work getting ready for work having a productive day and mike being out at work and when we come home we enjoy each other like we'll sit we'll talk we'll watch a movie like last night after we finished doing that video and working out and stuff, we watch a movie. I don't have it in my head to retire. There's no reason for me to retire. I can't picture. I mean, I know people say when they retire, you travel, you do this, you do that. It's not me. All right. Um, and a lot of people as well. Age is just a number. I don't feel any different than I felt last year or the year before. Um, I try to take care of myself. I take care of my body and I eat well. I, you guys see, we work out and um, do, let me pause for a second. Andrew's calling. Sorry about all the interruption. That was Andrew. So between Andrew, Andrew calls every morning. He's such a good son. Andrew call. I speak to my kids literally every single day. Um, even though they all have their lives, every single morning, every single night, Andrew would call, Venona would call. Um, I speak to Kate, um, to Tiffany, Casey is there. I speak to Jessica every single day. Um, we, our kids call us. Okay. So as I was saying, retirement is not in my vocabulary right now. It's not in my book right now. I don't even think about it. I am really enjoying our lives right now. As I always say, we're living our best life because when our kids were little, we everything we did was for the hold on a second for the kids you know um everything we did was for the kids we made sure they had a good upbringing we made sure 
that they um they had good education we made sure that we took care of them their needs came first our needs were way down on the list all right our kids needs came first so we did everything we could for them and now they have their lives they have their job they're living well and they have their families and mike and i this is our time to enjoy ourselves so i love working we love enjoying each other traveling um positive we are in a positive part of our lives now there's no negative no toxic nothing anymore everything is positive so now we're enjoying our lives okay so trust me when i'm going to retire i will let everyone know but right now age is just a number and anyone who is my age or, or, or older or not older younger because I, I hate saying older younger is um and going through the same thing understand you don't have to push you don't have to have the people push you and put that thought in your mind i know a lot of people that work till they're 80 casey's grandma um you work they work till she's 78 you know people as long as you could see talk walk you have your arms and your legs you can do anything okay so i don't feel retirement anywhere close i love my life the way it is right now and um just wanted to share that with everyone all right so quick quick tips for you guys um just because somebody is over 60 and you know a lot of people hide their age like a lot of people that you ask them how old are you and they're like no 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 no. we don't discuss age. we don't do no that's that's only because they have insecurities about their self um i am very proud to say that i'm 60 i love being 60 my younger life it was not that great but i love being 60 and i am proud to say i'm 60. there's no reason to hide your age all right the people that hide their age Again, everybody to every, each is their own, but no reason to hide your age, okay? You should be secured. You should be confident. A lot of people will tell me as well, Sandy, embrace your gray. Because when I go to the hairdresser, my hairstylist, I um, would tell her, is there any grays? Touch it up. And a lot of people would say, why you embrace your grays? Hell no. Not embracing any grays. I There's a reason why they have dye and stuff in a box. And there's a reason why... Why should I embrace my grace? I'm, I don't want grace yet. I mean, I have it, but I don't, I'm not ready to embrace it, okay? So everybody has their own way of life. Everybody has their own thing. And what you do, what works for you. I have learned in life that you have to live your life the way it works for you. And Mike and I do that. We teach our kids that and we love it, okay? So enjoy your Wednesday enough lecture for today. Enjoy your Wednesday. I'm going to go finish eating my sandwich. Um, drink my cup of Milo. So everyone out there have a great, great Wednesday and a productive one. All right. Love you guys. See you on my next video. And I will do the shout outs in another video. Okay. Bye.